Namaste. This is Lacey from Sacred Paths Yoga. I invite you to join me for this Hatha Flow practice working with the earth elements. Begin by lying on your back in corpse pose as we establish our connection to this element of earth. Notice how it feels to be held and supported by the ground beneath you as you bring your awareness to your breath. And take an inhale, reach the arms overhead, point the toes. Exhaling, bringing the right knee into the chest. And give your knee a shift side to side as we open the hip. And then as you're ready, allowing the knee to open up all the way to the right side. The left arm can stay extended alongside the body or place the left hand over the left hip to remain grounded here. Take a few deep breaths into the pelvic floor, allowing any tension to be dissolved. And on your next inhale, we'll bring the right knee back into the chest. Exhale for a gentle twist, bringing the right knee over to the left side. Extend the arms out as an extension from the heart center. You can keep your gaze over the left fingertips or for a deeper twist over towards the right. Breathe deeply into the belly here. On your next inhale, we'll bring the right knee back into the chest, giving it another squeeze in. And exhale, extend the leg all the way up to the sky, interlace the hands around the back of the calf or the thigh, wherever is available, and gently hug the leg in closer to the chest. And keeping the elbows soft, the chest open, the face relaxed. You can roll your right ankle in some circles, scrunch and flex the toes. I'm taking a long breath down the back of the leg to allow it to open. One more breath in here. And then exhale with control. Slowly lower the leg all the way back down to the earth. Next inhale, full body stretch, extending the arms overhead, point the toes. Exhale, bring the left knee into the chest, interlacing the hands around the shin, giving your knee a hug in as you shift it gently side to side to warm up the hip preparing to open. As you're ready, allowing the left knee to fall open to the left side. Right hand can come to the right hip for an extra sensation of grounding your energy. Take a few deep breaths here. On your next inhale, bring the left knee back into the chest, hugging it in, and then coming into a spinal twist, allowing the left knee to come over to the right side, twisting from the belly, and then spreading the arms out to the side. And gaze can be towards the right, or for a deeper stretch, over to the left. And continue deep, rhythmic, balanced breaths here. Last breath, and on your next inhale, bringing the left knee back into the chest, hugging it in, and exhale, extend the left leg all the way up to the sky, finding a comfortable grip behind the leg with the hands, and gently hugging the leg in closer to the upper body without any strain, so soft elbows, soften the shoulders down, and exploring all the way down into your left ankle. Take some circles, move your toes. Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, release the leg with control. We'll slowly lower the leg all the way back down to the earth, keeping the belly engaged and the back of the neck long. On your next inhale, extend the arms overhead again, point the toes. 
Exhale, bringing both knees into the chest. And hugging your knees in. And open up into a happy baby pose, taking hold of the outside edges of the feet with the hands. Trying to stack the ankles over the knees as we draw the knees down towards the side body. And warming up the hips, just gently rocking side to side. Creating space in the pelvic floor as well as the low back as we gently massage. And as the hips feel warm, can gently release the feet and hug the knees back into the chest, giving yourself another hug. And take your knees in a couple circles in each direction. Just getting more space, more fluidity created in the hips and in the low back, making sure to balance it evenly going both ways and then finding your way back to center Start to rock forward and back all the way up and down the spine with controlled momentum, rocking yourself all the way up to seated. Cross your legs and come into Sukhasana, comfortable seated position, growing the spine tall. Your next inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, release the right hand down to the earth beside the right hip. Take an inhale, reach up through the left fingertips. And exhale, gently leaning over to the right, keeping both sitting bones grounded, rooted into the earth. As we gently open up the side body. So imagine expanding your breath into your rib cage. Rotating the left shoulder back and maybe lifting your gaze up towards the sky. Last breath. Inhale, rise back up, both arms reaching up to the sky. Exhale, left hand floats down beside the left hip. Take an inhale, establishing length, reaching up through the right fingertips. Exhale, gently leaning over to the left. Both sides of the waist stay nice and long here. So you can use that left hand rooted into the earth as a little bit of traction to help your seat stay grounded, to establish that length in the side body. Directing your breath there, take another cycle or two. On your next inhale, rise back up through center, both arms reaching up to the sky. Exhale, take a twist. Left hand comes to the right knee, right hand comes behind you. Take an inhale for length, and exhale, twist from the belly. And stay with the breath, inhaling for length all the way up through the crown of the head. And then exhale, allows the twist to deepen. And slowly, without any strain, as we're still warming up the spine here. On your next in breath, unwinding, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand comes to the left knee or thigh. Left hand comes behind you. Inhale, establishing length. And exhale, twist from the belly. And allowing the rib cage, the chest, the shoulders to follow, maybe the gaze. And allowing the breath to travel up the length of the spine. And expelling it through the belly to twist deeper cycle by cycle. Inhale, reach the arms all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, hinging at the hips. We'll fold forward, bringing the hands down. Gently walk them out. Inhale for length. And exhale, folding down to the earth. And softening the shoulders, the head and neck. 
can stay with the breath, each inhale establishing length and each exhale softening even more. Allowing any tension to be released down into the earth beneath you. Last couple breaths. On your next inhale, slowly walk the hands in back towards the shins, rolling the spine up one vertebra at a time. Reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, circle the hands behind you. Plant the palms down, fingertips forward if you can. Taking a counter stretch here, just inhaling to lift the heart. Reversing that forward fold with a gentle opening for the chest. And then carefully releasing your back bend. You can release the legs and cross the other leg in front. Ground back down into your seat, rooting into the earth. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hinging forward, we'll fold back down. Maybe walking the fingertips out a little bit further. Inhale for length and exhale to fold down. And soften where you can. Head, neck, shoulders. Invite the breath to Travel down into the low back, into the hips, unraveling any tension that you're finding there. Simply staying connected to each cycle of breath in and breath out. Take a couple more cycles here. On your inhale, slowly rise up, either rolling the spine or coming up with a flat back, arms reaching up to the sky. Exhale, circle the hands behind you, fingers plant down behind the hips. We'll open the chest into a counter pose, big inhale into the heart. As you exhale, gently release, releasing your back bend, releasing the legs. Extend them out in front of you, hugging your knees into your chest. We'll prepare for some seated cat cows. So finding your breath cycle here, inhaling to lift the heart up, drop the shoulders down the back, opening the chest. And then exhaling, rounding the spine, bringing the chin into the chest, gently leaning back. Long breath in, lengthening. Exhale, releasing the breath, rounding the spine. Inhale, rising back up. And exhale, rounding. Allowing the breath to guide the movement. Inhaling back to center. And exhaling, preparing for a seated forward fold. So extending the legs out in front of you. Grounding down into your seat. Establishing a nice long spine. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips. Arms release down alongside the legs to the earth. Inhale for length and exhale to fold. So nice to keep the knees slightly bent here as we're still warming up the spine and the backs of the legs. So trying not to create any tension or strain. And adjusting as needed. So as the breath invites the body to open, maybe the legs start to extend even more. We can find a little activation in the feet, pressing out through the balls of the feet, toes peeling back. And keep breathing here. Your next inhale, rise all the way back up, arms come up to the sky, exhale, hands come behind you, plant them down onto the earth, bend the knees, 
Preparing for a reverse tabletop plant the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, lift the hips up. And exhale, stay here. Working towards getting the hips in line with the knees and shoulders. Taking a nice big stretch for the shoulders and the chest. Expansion for the heart center. Take another breath in, lifting. And then exhale, gently release the hips down to the earth, close to the heels. Continue leaning back onto the palms. We'll tick-tock the legs side to side, dropping the knees over to the right, bringing them back to center, and then over to the left. Taking your time and holding as long as you need to. We'll go back and forth on each side another time. Just feeling how this Simple movement helps release the spine, the low back. And allows the spine to return to a place of neutrality. Bring the knees back to center. Start to push yourself up. We'll come into Malasana Yogic Squat. So feet come wide. Point the toes out about 45 degrees. Just enough so that your heels can come down towards the earth. Hands come together in front of the heart center in Anjali Mudra. can gently rock side to side as we explore the hips a bit more. The tailbone drop down and the heart lifts up to meet this prayer. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, extend the legs, coming into standing forward folds. Take a micro bend in the knees so that we can soften. We can take opposite elbows here and gently sway side to side. Decompressing the spine, giving the head a couple shakes too, letting go of any tension in the neck. And releasing the hands down, re-parallel the feet, bring the left hand towards the center of the mat, take an inhale, reach the right arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, stay here, a little bend into the left knee. Pushing the hips straight back, tailbone lengthening back and twisting from the belly, then allowing the chest to open, the shoulders to open, and the gaze to come up towards the right fingertips. Take a couple more breaths here. And that inhale reaches up through the right fingertips. And with an exhale, release the right hand back down to the earth. Plant the right palm in the center of the mat. Take an inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, gently twisting, taking a bend into the right knee. And find the hips staying level here, lengthening the tailbone back and allowing the twist to come from the belly. A deep stretch as we Root down in the right palm, extend up through the left, and then exhale, release back to our standing forward fold. Take an inhale, release your twist, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bringing the feet back together. Bend the knees, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time on your inhale. And exhale, coming to Tadasana. You can give your shoulders a nice big shrug, send them down the back. And palms open and coming to Samastitihi, Tadasana. And finding fluidity and breath and movement. We'll move through a couple Hatha Sun salutations. And take an inhale here and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Maybe your gaze follows. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Standing forward fold. Inhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Back knee comes down, toes untuck, low lunge. Lift the heart. Retain the breath, step back to plank pose. And exhale, lower the knees the chest and the chin, elbows tuck into the ribs. Inhale, low cobra, extending the legs, lifting the heart up. Exhale, pushing back onto the knees, curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
First downward dog, so we'll take a couple breaths to warm up here, taking any extra movements to open the body into full expression of this shape. And allow the breath to fully extend and fill your body from fingertips to toes, finding lots of lift and length up through the hips and the sitting bones. Your next inhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Back knee comes down, toes untuck, heart lifts, low lunge. Exhale, step forward, standing forward fold. Press into the feet, root down to rise up. Inhale, coming all the way up to Utita Tadasana. Exhale, release hands through center, Tadasana. Stamastitihi, palms open, heart open. Inhale here. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Prayer pose. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, hinging from the hips, we'll fold forward. Inhale, the left foot steps back. Lower the back knee and tuck the toes, low lunge, lifting the heart. Retaining the breath, step back to plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin. Inhale, low cobra, lifting the heart up. Shoulders drop down the back. Exhale, push back onto the knees, curl the toes under, lift the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. And breathing here. Keep the breath nice and balanced. And allow it to inform your movement and guide your meditation. Inhale, left foot steps forward between the hands. Back knee comes down, toes untuck, heart lifts. Exhale, step forward to the top of your mat, standing forward fold. Inhale, press down into the feet to rise up with the flat back, strong core, heart lifts, gaze comes up. Exhale, hands pass through the heart center, coming into Tadasana, palms open, Samastitihi, inhale. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky, gaze follows. Exhale, with a flat back, come all the way down to standing forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat for low lunge. Back knee comes down, heart lifts. Plant the palms, retain the breath, step back to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, lift the heart for cobra pose. Drop the shoulders down the back. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, coming into high lunge. Inhale, the heart reaches forward. Exhaling, stepping forward, forward fold. Inhale, strong core, coming all the way up into extended Tadasana. Exhale, hands release through the heart center. Coming back to Tadasana, inhale. Exhale, finding Anjali Mudra, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, arms reaching up, little back bend. Exhale, folding forward. Inhaling, stepping the left foot to the back of the mat for low lunge, lower the knee and tuck the toes, lift the heart. Retain the breath and step back to plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest, and the chin. Ishtanga Namaskar. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. Take an inhale into high lunge, hips stay level, heart reaching forward. Exhale, step forward, standing forward fold. Press into the feet, inhale, rise up with the flat back, 
Heart spirals open at the top. Exhale, recenter. Hands pass through the heart and open to the sides. Inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Recenter. Inhale, arms come up to the sky. Exhale, hinging from the hips, fold forward. Inhale, step your right foot back to the lunge, lowering the knee and tucking the toes, lifting the heart. Plant the hands down, retaining the breath, stepping back to plank. Now exhale, lowering the knees, the chest and the chin to the earth. Inhale to cobra pose, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders down the back. Exhale, lifting the hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, stack the hips right on top of left, bend the knee. Stay here for a couple breaths, squaring the shoulders as the right knee lifts up to the sky. Keep sending the left heel down to the earth. On your next inhale, re-extend the right leg, square the hips. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Inhale to high lunge, leaving the fingertips down towards the earth. Plant the left hand down, exhale. Inhale, peel the right arm all the way up to the sky. And twisting from the belly and breathing here from fingertip to fingertip. Expanding the chest. And take another inhale here, reaching all the way up through the fingertips. And exhale, release the right hand back down to the earth, framing the right foot. Step forward to standing forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up with the flat back, reaching the arms overhead, gentle back but at the top. And exhale, recentering down into Tadasana, Samastitihi. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands back together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky, gaze follows. Exhale, hinging from the hips, standing forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back to low lunge, lowering the knee and tucking the toes, lifting the heart. Retaining the breath, step back to plank pose. And exhale, lowering the knees, the chest and the chin. Inhale, cobra, lifting the heart, open the chest. Exhale, sending the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, opening the hips, stacking the left on top of right, bending the knee. And taking a nice stretch here as the shoulders square. Left knee reaches up, right heel down to the earth. And continue breathing. On your next inhale, re-extend the left leg, square the hips. Exhale, step the left foot forward in between the hands to high lunge. Inhale, reach the heart forward, fingertips stay down, shoulders draw down the back. Exhale, plant the right hand down. Take an inhale, peel the left arm all the way up to the sky, twisting from the belly and expanding across the chest. Reaching the right heel back as we reach the crown of the head forward. Activate the belly, breathe here. Another couple cycles. Last inhale, reaching up. And then exhale, release the left hand back down to the earth, step forward, standing forward fold. Press down into the feet, inhale, rise all the way up with the flat back, reaching the arms all the way up to the sky, open the heart. And exhale, hands pass through center into standing mountain pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Next breath, hands return to the heart center. Take an inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, Utita Tadasana. Exhale, standing forward fold. 
Inhale, lift up halfway and lengthen belly in, heart forward. Exhale, hands come down to the earth, step or hop back to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, lifting the heart. And exhale, press down into the palms, so lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Your next breath in, rolling forward into plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees down. Send the hips back to the heels for child's pose. And take a few breaths here to rebalance the breath, to return to your intention. Maybe you move the hips side to side, settling them down heavy onto the heels, and then softening the head, the neck, the shoulders. And taking your last breath in child's pose. Allowing the movement to settle. And from here, we'll take an inhale, walk the hands back in towards the knees, rolling the spine up till you come to a kneeling position with the hips on the heels, spine nice and tall. Welcome in this element of fire by practicing Kapalabhati also known as fierce or fire breath, shining skull breath, helps to clear the mind and create heat and vitality within the body. You can bring your hand to the belly so you can feel this forceful exhalation as we pump the belly up and in with each exhale through the nose, allowing the inhalation to be natural. Inhale and exhale, 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 exhale. Exhale. Continuing for about 20 more pumps. Just slow it down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Emptying the breath. Take a full cleansing cycle in and out. Come into breath retention. Inhale through the nose till three quarters of your lung capacity. We'll hold the breath here for about 20 counts. If you feel any strain or tension in the body, release the breath. Otherwise, continue to hold for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and exhale. Release the hips over to one side, swing the legs around. Go ahead and scoot up to the top of your mat if you're not already there. We'll prepare for boat pose, Navasana. Shifting the weight onto the sitting bones, lifting the legs up till the shins are parallel to the earth. Maybe you release the arms alongside the legs. And if you can keep the spine nice and tall, reaching up through the crown of the head, you can start to extend the legs, bringing lots of heat and strength into the core of your being into the solar plexus. So invite your breath there, holding for a couple more cycles of breath. Take another inhale, lifting up a little bit higher. And exhale, releasing, crossing the ankles, rolling over the knees and pressing back to downward facing dog. Option to roll forward into plank pose on your inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Heart lifts. And exhale, downward facing dog. Another breath here. And on your inhale, we'll come up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, looking forward. Inhale to the top of your mat, hopping or stepping. Halfway lift, heart reaches forward. Exhale, standing forward fold. 
And your inhale will come all the way up with the flat back, arms reach up to the sky. And exhale, releasing back through center into Tadasana. Next inhale, we'll come to chair pose. Sweep the arms down and up. Hips sink down and back. Weights in the heels and in the hips. You can lift your toes up here, pressing down into the feet. And feeling that activation as the belly grows stronger, the heart lifts up. We energize up through the fingertips. Continuing your breath. Take another inhale. And then exhale, releasing, standing forward fold. And take a couple breaths, allowing the blood to wash back through the legs, releasing any tension there. And just feeling that little bit of heat build up as we activate into these strong standing poses. Your next inhale will come back into chair pose, Katasana, hips sink down, back, weight in the heels. Exhale, hands come to heart center and we'll twist to the right. Releasing the left elbow to the outer right thigh. Hands at the heart center. Activating the belly here so that we're lifting our heart up to meet this prayer. Pressing evenly into the palms. And finding your breath. Careful transition. Bring your gaze down for balance. Shift the weight onto the right foot and gently pick the left foot up. Step it all the way to the back of your mat for high crescent lunge twist. As the ball of the foot comes down, pushing back into the heel, activating the left thigh. At the same time, pressing again evenly into the palms so we stay lifted up off the right thigh with the belly strong. Next exhale, release, hands frame the right foot. Set the back foot up about halfway, even widening your stance. Take an inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale to fold. Now bring your hands to your hips. Take an inhale, rise all the way up with a flat back. Exhale, release the hands behind you, taking hold of opposite elbows or finding reverse prayer with your hands. Inhale, lengthening, reaching the heart up, a gentle back bend. And exhale, hinging from the hips, fold forward over the right leg for pyramid pose. We'll hold here for a couple breaths. Pressing evenly into the feet, lifting through the inner arches, lifting up through the kneecaps so that the thighs are engaged. Working towards keeping our hips level here. And finding a couple more breaths. Your next inhale, engage the belly, press into the feet, rise all the way up with a flat back. Exhale, release the hands. Right hand comes to the right hip. Take an inhale, reach the left arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, reaching forward, coming to a flat back. Getting the spine nice and straight, tailbone lengthens back. And from there, twist from the belly, bringing the left hand down to the earth, right hand to the sacrum, leveling the hips. And then if you have the space, reaching the right arm all the way up to the sky for revolved triangle pose. Staying fully active and aware of your foundation, working from the feet and the thighs, leveling the hips, and then stretching from fingertip to fingertip as we stretch the chest open. Last inhale, exhale, release, both hands come down, step the left foot to meet the right, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen, belly in, heart forward, exhale, Standing forward fold. Releasing here, one more breath. Good, and then on your next inhale, we'll come back into chair pose, sweeping the arms all the way up. Weight comes into the hips and the heels. Exhale, hands come to prayer, bring the hands down in front of the heart, and then we'll twist to the left, right elbow to the outer left thigh. Trying to keep our knees in line here, the hips in line with the knees. Press evenly into the palms to stay lifted, and chest opening. Another breath. Mm. 
And then preparing for a mindful transition, bring your gaze down, shift the weight to the left foot, carefully lift the right leg up, step it all the way to the back of the mat for high crescent lunge twists. Re-establish your foundation by pressing into the ball of the right foot, push the heel back, engage the thigh. And then twisting from the belly here as we press into the palms and keep the heart lifted, trying to rotate the left shoulder to stack on top of the right. And find your breath in your belly. And take another breath in. And exhale, release. Both hands frame the left foot. Step the right foot up halfway. Take a little bit of a wider stance with your feet for balance. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold down. Bring your hands to your hips. Press into the feet and inhale, rise with a flat back. Exhale, release the hands behind you, either opposite elbows or reverse prayer pose. Take an inhale to lift the heart up, square the hips and shoulders. And then exhale, hinging from the hips, fold forward into pyramid pose. Distributing the weight evenly between the front leg and the back leg. So adjusting as needed. Squaring off the hips. And keeping the palms active in reverse prayer so the chest continues to open as we fold forward. And finding your breath. Last cycle. Press into the feet. Inhale, rise all the way up with a flat back. Exhale, release. Left hand to the left hip. Inhale, right arm reaches all the way up to the sky. Exhale, preparing for revolved triangle pose, reaching forward as you hinge from the hips, find a flat back, then twisting from the belly, bring the right hand down to the earth or two of the block. Bring the left hand to the low back, make sure your hips are level, and if you have the space, you can reach the left arm all the way up to the sky. Requiring deep focus and awareness in this posture as our body is moving in all directions. So as we twist and stretch and open, invite your breath into all of those spaces. Take another inhale, reach all the way up through the left fingertips. And exhale, release both hands down to the earth. Step the right foot to meet the left for standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, reset. Plant the hands down, step or hop back to plank and lower chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, lifting the chest up. And exhale, finding downward facing dog with the hips lifting up to the sky. On your next inhale, we'll roll forward into plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees down, untuck the toes, send the hips back to the heels for child's pose. And take a breath in and a breath out to soften. And we'll flow with our breath here, coming into a lion's breath. So stretch your arms forward, spread your fingers, inhale, roll forward into tabletop. Exhale, lion's breath, arch the spine, look up and sigh through the mouth. Press into the palms, inhale, round the spine into cat pose. Exhale into child's pose. Do that a couple more times. On your inhale, roll forward into tabletop. Exhale through the mouth and sigh, lion's breath, arch the spine, lift the tailbone, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, cat pose, tuck the tail. And release into child's pose. Last one, inhale, roll forward into tabletop. Exhale, lion's breath, sigh through the mouth. Inhale, round the spine. And exhale, release back into child's pose. Feeling all that heat and fire released. And settling back into the shape of rest and receptivity. Always the opportunity to return to your breath, your intention in this shape. And 
as we move into the cycle of air, we bring our awareness into the heart center, this place of expansion as we breathe, this place of expanding our capacity to give and receive love, opening up this place of compassion. As you're ready, walk the hands in towards the knees, roll the spine up, coming into a kneeling position. Hips on the heels, spine tall. And then lifting the hips off the heels, preparing for camel pose. Bringing the knees hip distance apart, hands support the low back. Take an inhale, lift the heart up. As you exhale, gently leaning back as the hips push forward, coming into a back bend. If you have the space and you can reach your heels, you can move into that variation. We'll continue to breathe here. So each breath filling the shape, filling the space across your chest, your lung capacity, and feeling your heart start to crack open. Last couple breaths here. Come out gently as you're ready, coming out the same way we came in, with the heart leading us up, gaze follows. And release the hands alongside the body, the palms facing forward. Just a moment to integrate, feel any new openings in the body, any places of resistance or places that have yet to be opened. You can release the hips back down onto the heels. Swing the legs around, extending the legs out in front of you, readjusting the body on the mat if you need to. So you're at the top of the mat, preparing for seated forward fold. Ground down through your seat, spines nice and tall, shoulders stacked over the hips. Take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Hinging from the hips, exhale, fold forward. Release the arms alongside the legs. Inhale, heart reaches forward, and exhale, we fold again. You can stay with that action a few more times. Inhale, heart reaching forward, and exhale, releasing down a little bit deeper. So our shoulders, our arms don't need to do any of the work to deepen this pose. Allow the action to come from a lengthening of the spine the heart guiding the movements, guiding you deeper into the expression and into the experience of this shape. Take a few more breaths here. As you're ready, inhale, rise all the way up with the flat back, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come behind you. Plant the palms down, fingers forward. Inhale into incline plane pose, pressing the toes down to the earth to lift the hips up. Gaze can be forward up towards the sky or all the way back. Take another breath in here. Feel a nice counter stretch for our forward folds. And then exhale, release the hips back down to the earth. And bring your right knee into your chest. Preparing for a Marichi Asana pose. Foot's about a Fist distance away from the left leg. Take an inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, wrap it around your shin, reaching back with the left arm to find a bind. Inhale, heart lengthens forward and exhale, folding over the left leg. Take a few more breaths like that. Inhale for length and exhale to fold. The extended legs long and strong, so find an activation through the ball of the foot, plugging the left femur bone also back into the hip socket and extending from that place. Feel a little opening across the chest and the shoulders as we take another breath here. Good, and on your next inhale, release, coming all the way up, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Right arm behind you, like a second spine, left arm wrapping around the right leg. Staying rooted in our sitting bones, 
Let the breath guide the movements here, inhaling all the way up the spine, up through the crown of the head for length, and then exhale to twist from the belly, the ribs, the chest, the shoulders, and maybe the gaze follows. Staying with that action a couple more cycles. On your next inhale, unwind, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale for a counter pose, left hand comes behind the hips. Inhale, lifting the hips up, right arm reaches up and back. And then exhale, slowly releasing, hips come back down to the earth. Re-extend the right leg. We'll switch sides, left knee into the chest, preparing for Marichyasana pose. Take an inhale, reach the left arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, left arm reaches on the inside of the left leg. Wrap the arm around the shin. Right arm reaches behind the back. And we cross the fingers for a bind. Inhale, guides the heart forward. And then exhale, deepens your fold. Stay active in the extended leg. Keep the toes peeling back as we gain traction, finding more space to move the heart forward and dive deeper into your fold. Couple more breaths. On your inhale, slowly come all the way up, releasing your bind, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, take a twist to the left. Left hand comes behind you. Right arm hugs around the left shin. Or if you have the space, you can hook it on the outside edge of the thigh. Inhale, reach up through the crown of the head. Belly comes in. Exhale, twist. I'm tuning into how the breath guides the body. Take a couple more cycles like that. Inhaling for more length. Exhale, deepening your twist. On your next inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes behind you. Roll onto the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale, lift the hips up. Reach the left arm all the way back. And then exhale, slowly releasing the hips all the way down to the earth. And we'll hug the knees into the chest at the top of the mat, releasing those seated poses with a few seated cat cows here. So take an inhale, reach the heart up, drop the shoulders down the back. Exhale, leaning back. Belly in, chin to chest. And again, inhale, lift the heart, opening. Exhale, back to center. Slowly lower down to your back as you're ready. Reach the arms forward, engage the belly, press down into the feet and roll down one vertebra at a time. Preparing for bridge pose here. Walk the feet in close to the hips, reach the arms alongside the body, perhaps touching the heels with your fingertips. As you're ready, press into the feet, take an inhale, lift the hips off the earth. Exhale, roll the shoulders underneath the body. Maybe you interlace the fingers to find a little bit more traction. As you press down into the outer edges of the hands and the forearms, find more space to lift the hips up. Stay engaged in the inner thighs, using the strength of the legs to stay lifted. I'm taking a couple more breaths here, gazing down into the heart center. Last inhale. Exhale, release your hands if they're bound. Release the shoulders out from underneath the body. Inhale, reach the arms up, come up onto the toes. And exhale, slowly lower the hips down to the earth. You can bring the right hand to the heart, left hand to the belly. 
Take the feet a bit wider and allow the knees to fall in towards each other. Rest here for a few breaths to integrate. To allow the spine to settle, to feel this opening and connection to the heart center. Perhaps closing the eyes and just feeling whatever may arise. Set up for another back bend here, preparing for bridge pose as you're ready. Taking an inhale to lift the hips. You may stay here or exhale, preparing for full wheel. Hands come underneath the shoulders, press down into the feet and the hands, extending the arms and lifting all the way up. Holding for as long as feels appropriate, being mindful of your body and any limitations that you may be encountering in this now moment. Finding your breath a couple more times or as you need to, gently making your way back down. Nice and slow, we'll meet in that same resting pose with the feet wider, the knees coming in towards each other and one hand over the heart and one hand over the belly, allowing the whole spine to be in contact with the earth and sealing in this connection from the heart space as we breathe. Setting up for supine twist across the right leg all the way over the left. Scoot the hips a little bit over to the right. And we'll drop both knees over to the left side. You can extend the arms out from the heart center. Turning your gaze over to the left or for a deeper stretch over to the right. Allowing the body to fully unwind here. Bringing out any last bits of tension. Breathe into the belly and feel that full expansion of the heart as we stretch from fingertip to fingertip and allow the heart to soften down into the earth. On your next inhale, we'll bring the knees back through center, uncrossing the legs, then crossing the left leg all the way over the right. Scoot the hips over to the left and lower the knees to the right so that as you come into your twist, the hips are stacked and even in between the shoulders. And stretching from fingertip to fingertip as an extension from the heart center and finding a comfortable gaze to the right or to the left. Find the breath into the belly. And just observing anything else you're finding there that needs to be released. Last couple breaths. On your next inhale, we'll bring the knees back through center, uncrossing the legs, readjusting the spine on the mat, and then exhale, hug the knees back into the chest. Take a couple circles with the knees in each direction, massaging out the spine, fully releasing your twists, and bringing 
symmetry and balance back into the body. Once you've gone both ways, you can hug the knees back into the chest and then coming into reclined butterfly pose. Letting the knees open, bottoms of the feet come together, lower the feet down close to the hips as the hips open. You can reach the arms out alongside the body with the palms facing up in this gesture of receptivity and openness. Or if there's somewhere over the body that needs a little bit of extra loving touch and healing, you can place the hands there. Great time to close the eyes and redirect your gaze, your awareness fully inward. Allowing the energy and efforts of your practice to be fully felt and received. And tuning in to a nice balanced breath calm the movement of the body and to calm the mind as we get closer and closer to our final pose of deep relaxation and surrender Stay here as long as you'd like, or if you're ready to move into Shavasana, put your hands at the outer edges of the thighs to close the knees back together, and then extend the legs along the mat. Feet open wide, allowing the feet to gently fall open so the legs can relax, the hips can soften, allowing the whole spine to Relax down into the earth and soften the chest and the shoulders. Relax all the muscles and the arms all the way down to the fingertips. You can soften the face, the mouth, the brow, the eyelids. Eyes close down as we move into our final pose, Shavasana. This element of ether is a place we, where we experience the all-encompassing oneness of all that is. So bring your awareness to your breath and allow your breath to guide you into complete relaxation. A place of no thoughts, no movement, of complete stillness and bliss.
and slowly to come back to the physical body. Deepening your breath, you can take a big inhale, stretch the arms overhead, and exhale, draw the knees into the chest. And slowly roll over to one side, keeping the eyes closed and pausing there. But your awareness is still within. And as you're ready, you can gently push your way all the way back up to seated. Finding a comfortable cross-legged position at the top of your mat. Allowing, again, the spine to grow nice and tall. And take a moment to return to your intention to integrate and process the experience of your practice. Tune in to any subtle changes or any shifts. And welcome whatever is received with gratitude. Take an inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, join the palms together and exhale the hands, come down into the heart center. Close this space and this practice, gently bringing the hands up to the third eye and bowing, namaste.